make your jaw drop, drop, say you might drop, drop. I want them to be like, ah, she's so good. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Zar Larson, and you're watching Billboard News. Hey, everybody, it's Rania Niftos with Billboard News, and today we have Zara Larson here in the studio. Welcome. I love your outfit. It's kind of like a Madonna moment. It's, I love it. When you work with a stylist or you choose your own clothes, yeah. do you like to experiment with your style? Yeah, I like to experiment a bit. I want a little sexy. Yeah. Throw some sexy in there. <laughs> you know, that's when I feel the most comfortable. So yeah, today I just went out shopping for this. You bought this yeah. today? Well, good choice. Yeah, they I gave me a little budget today. for the Billboard interview and I said, okay. You have a very exciting week. You've yeah. dropped your new song, mm -hmm. Team I would love to know who or what tried to tame you Ooh. that you felt the need that you need to declare this now. If you are in the public eye of any sort, I think a lot of people have their own perception of who you are or who you should be. People want to put girls in a box yeah. of what you should do and not. So even just being in the public eye, I feel like you have a lot of people telling you what's wrong or how you should do something differently. Middle fingers up. I'm out there, I'm very loud. I'm a diva, I'm a, I'm a diva. I try to stay true to myself and like surround myself with people who care about me so we can all just help each other and protect each other and like really good friends. Are we part of friends? There's so much that I wanna say. That's the most yeah. important thing, yeah. especially when you're famous and yeah. you don't know what their intentions yeah. are. Yeah, I never do. For. Everyone who's nice to me, I'm like, we're best friends. You're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then my friends are like, they weren't very nice to me, you know? That's mm. why I'm like, hmm. No, you can't take her, she over. Tell me a bit about like the musical making of Candy. It's definitely pop. It, it fits well in my catalog, but it is a little different. Yeah. But it's a banger and it hits you right in the face. I love it. For me, when I played it to people, like it gets people excited. Yeah. I want every album to be like a better version of what I've done previously. You were on the Swedish equivalent of America's Got Talent yeah. when you were 10 years old. So yeah. run me through being like a 10 year old and being like, I want to do this. <laughs> I really, really knew. <laughs> and that was the only show I could be on that would allow like all ages oh. because X Factor and like Pop Idol, like all those shows 16. where it was just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Where it was like only singing, you know, you had to be older and I didn't want to wait. It was an amazing experience. It was very short and sweet. Okay. I got to release the song for oh, okay. the finale, which was My Heart Will Go On. So I wow. did that little single and it was like my first experience, you know, re recording. And I remember it was very, very low key. Um, <laughs> it was just me and my mom in there like, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And, uh, and yeah, that was, I mean, it was great. But nothing really happened, right. you know? <laughs> nothing really happened after that. I was, I was devastated. I was really sad because I thought, you know, once you win a show like that, that's it. You just blow Except up. Except for life, yeah. Yeah, but that was far from the truth. <laughs> so I had to go back to school. I never left school, but you know, I went back to school and it was a big thing for like a couple of weeks, but then everybody in the school, okay. you know, it's, yeah, you move on. To the next drama. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then um, I released my first like real song, my song when I was 15. My silent, my silent is in your so you've been around forever and then I was shocked that you're like only 24 years old. So yeah. what would you say is the key to longevity in your career? I don't know. I feel like I'm just starting out. Like I truly, yeah. I'm so like far from where I want to go and like what I want to do. I think it's my blessing and a curse where I will never really be satisfied. I want you to bring it all on. If you make it all wrong, then I make it all right. Yeah. I want you to rule my life. You rule my life. You rule my life. I still want that number one billboard. The biggest dream of mine would be like to have a worldwide like stadium tour. I love what I do. I think you have to have a true passion for it. Yeah. 
moving forward, you're working on an album. What do you want fans to take from it? I think there's a, something for everyone in there, but what I hope this album's gonna do is to just tie everything together a bit more. I wanna create like an experience. And I want them to be like, ah, she's so I mean, I don't think it's gonna take that much because you are such a good songwriter. And your new song, Can't Tame Her, is out now. She's so good.